Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1402, part 5. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have yet another video to show how to put a check mark when the number is greater than zero. In this video, we'll see how to do it with conditional formatting. And you've got to go check out Oakley Turvey's YouTube channel. He has all sorts of amazing Excel tricks, including this one here. Now, in the comments section of 1402 part 1 to 4, a few of us were commenting that that when we tried to do this with conditional formatting, it blew our computer up in Excel 2016. It was. But now it's working. So I don't really know what's going on. But if you can do conditional formatting, this is the way to go. Now we need to get the numbers in this column. So I'm going to say equal sign, relative cell reference, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we can go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, drop down. There's the icon sets. And look down here. There's our green check mark. If we can get rid of those other two, this will work. I'm going to click Apply. Now we have to go back up to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. And now we can click Edit Rule. I'm going to come over here and say No Cell Icon. No cell icon. Change this first one to greater than, how about a number, like 0. And I won't like it if I leave it like this. So I'm going to simply change this. Also, there will just be nothing applied. But there it is, our single green icon. When I click OK, click OK, it didn't blow up. And check this out. If I change the number to 14, just like that, it gets the check mark. Now, if you don't want to see the numbers right there, you can highlight. We should have done this in the first place. Conditional formatting, manage rules, edit, and check. Show icon only. Click OK, click OK. If I change this back to 0, boom, there it is. Hey, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Oakley Turvey. We'll see you next video.